Hello everyone, JH Medium here, and today we are in Da Nang. The second stop of our Vietnam trip is the beautiful seaside city of Da Nang. After a busy trip in Hanoi, it's great to slow things down a bit and relax. Coconut! Cheers! Mikay Beach is definitely one of the prettiest beaches in Vietnam. Even though it is crowded, we found a little spot and it is still very serene. We're at the Dragon Bridge Night Market, which is the busiest night market in Da Nang. And we're gonna try their famous pork skewers. You put them in this rice paper, then you add some cucumbers and some herbs inside, and you roll it up. I really like the barbecue taste of the skewers, but this rice paper is the most interesting thing. But when you bite into it, it sort of dissolves. It's really satisfying. After dinner, it's time for tonight's main event. Come here at 9 p.m. on weekends and public holidays to see the fire-breathing dragon. Day two in Da Nang, and today we're going to see the symbol of the city in Bana Hills. But this place is completely different from what I expected. Keep watching to see why. Built over 1,500 meters above sea level by the French in the 1900s, Bana Hills was established as a resort for French tourists. They wanted to build a recreational space in the mountains away from the Vietnam heat. So we arrived at Sun World in Bana Hills and this looks more like an amusement park. I did not really expect that. Sort of looks like a Vietnamese French version of Universal Studios. It's really strange. I cannot believe we are in Vietnam right now. They literally have a globe here just like Universal Studios. Anyways, let's check out some of the activities. The biggest attraction here is definitely the Golden Bridge, supported by two giant hands. Even though this only opened recently in 2018, it is now sort of the symbol of Da Nang. The hands are actually made out of wire mesh to appear like stone. If you touch it, you'll notice it's not a giant stone sculpture. A little bit disappointing, but still, it looks really cool. Next up, we're going on the Alpine Coaster. Oh, 
What a ride. That actually went a lot faster than I expected it to go. Wow. Really cool. And the sun's out. So much fun. Rico wants to play one more time. Yeah, <laughs> we can go find the other route and see if we can play it one more time. <laughs> now we're gonna try the second route of the Alpine coaster. Rico's turn to film the POV. We can relax and enjoy the view. And that's the end of our day at Bana Hills. So now we're gonna take the cable car back down. And of course, once again, there is a huge long line, as expected. So that was our very short two day trip in Da Nang, even though it's still very touristy, it's definitely a lot more relaxing than Hanoi. Da Nang was more of a stopover on our trip to Hoi An, but this city really surprised me. With ocean on one side and mountains on the other, I can definitely see why this is rated as the most livable city in Vietnam. Next up, we are here at the gorgeous little town of Hoi An. Do subscribe to JH Medium because you don't want to miss out on that video. Until then, see you soon.